leave that at five and that will be kind of your uh, RSS feeds and make sh and we'll show you how to make sure as we go through that this number matches the number in your archive so uh, for each article in a feed show full text summary uh, folks we recommend summaries we recommend summaries this gives people the chance to read a little bit of your content without being overwhelmed by the full text if if they say if they read a summary and they want to read further they'll click on the button that's provided and you'll uh, see that at some point here leave this alone that's all we'll say about that so that's reader settings and again just like with our writing and reading these are two things that we are going to have to come back to once our content is created in the next two modules discussion now this is this is something that should particularly be paid attention to and truthfully there is um, we won't give a recommendation on whether you allow comments or not what, what we will do is say you better manage your comments well that includes ask them at plugins you make sure uh, that comments have to be moderated and we'll get there however uh, you make sure your comments are managed well because some the nature of some websites generate discussion that's just how it is however uh, eight and ten visitors come they're just trying to drop a spammy backlink on you and you'll have to delete their comments anyway or you can set your ask a plug plugin um, as we showed you how to do to delete ones that are older than 30 days however uh, this if you have a website that you want discussion on allow comments uh, as a direct marketer uh, I personally don't want to generate discussion it's uh, truthfully uh, we want you to take advantage of our offer and not and go away we're not trying to generate discussion uh, you like what we have you take advantage of it or you don't so that is the context in which we are going to set this up this does not mean this is right for your business this is part of managing your business deciding what's right for you so no uh, attempt to notify any blogs linked to the article nope we don't want to be the victim of a spam attack but that's just us allow link notifications from other blogs trackbacks pingbacks absolutely not uh, allow people to post comments on new articles absolutely not uh, other comment says comment author must fill out name and email we're not going to allow it so uh, and the difference let me be clear the difference between these two uh, is is there will be legitimate blogs there will be legitimate blogs that attempt to link to you however we don't have time to manage the difference with these people who want to uh, spam who want to give us a uh, spam attack us in these people we just don't and again if the website isn't an authoritative website has a high PR rank this isn't their, their links aren't going to help you anyway so uh, enable nested threads five deep uh, um, we won't we won't we'll, we'll tell you about that in a WordPress CO series uh, the rest of this anyone can post a comment absolutely not a comment is held for moderation I will leave this checked just in case something gets through uh, be, uh, comment author must have previously approved the comment we don't need any of that uh, down here uh, what you want to do when a comment contains any of these words content name email uh, they be held in moderation uh, what's dangerous is as a website owner uh, a person can fill out uh, a comment if you choose to go that route but you make sure you make sure that their URL isn't in the comment because people will will, will uh, steal business from you by making comments that you approve make sure their URL isn't in the comment but since we're not going to allow them boop, boop, we're not going to put anything there comment blacklist we're not going to worry about uh, we're not going to worry about because we don't have comments now uh, because we don't have comments uh, we're not going to show avatars but if you do have comments make sure you choose something kind of cool now there are plugins you can get we're not going to recommend any that allow people to import pictures from profiles so you can have like a real face on your website with comments but uh, we're not allowing comments so we're just going to leave that blank but you decide what's best for your business next we're going to go down to the media setting now we'll explain this to you in media is uh, let me see this is five uh, module nine we will get into media uh, you will really like that and your website will, will it's really going to start looking good by uh, the ninth module so thumbnail size this is perfect 
this is perfect medium size uh, this is this is absolutely uh, folks this is absolutely perfect large size this is absolutely perfect so I would leave those things alone embeds when possible embed the media content from URL directly on the page for example YouTube and Flickr absolutely uh, hmm. how do we do this hmm. well hmm. a great uh, yeah yeah we'll, we'll 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 take you there yeah we'll go there we'll go there <laughs> yeah we're gonna go there because this isn't uh, CO content so uh, let's let's uh, uh, let's let's get a video and we'll, we'll dig the embed code out just so we can show you how to determine it now um, <laughs> oh yeah that's one of my favorite cartoons when I was a kid but however uh, we will go to the when you go to YouTube just pick a video uh, they're pretty much all standard size and what you want to do is hit embed and this is right here 420 and 315 those are the standard size of a YouTube video and those are the standard sizes that you should use on your website now when we get to the media upload module we're going to show you how to tailor this without destroying the video we're going to show you how to shrink and do the sizes without destroying the video folks so and it's a matter of just putting in different numbers so 420 315 we think is a good size so that's what we will put here store uploads uh, we don't particularly uh, and we there is a great method a seal method uh, this wow you got to take advantage of the CO series so store uploads we'll just let it assign a folder and we'll let it do that organize my uploads into month day and year based folders absolutely so we're going to hit save changes and that is media which is right here so next we're going to go to the privacy and this is going to be real quick now if you are using your website for an internal network let's just say and you don't uh, view our members plug-in video tutorial uh, you if this is a private website for some reason uh, you would want to check this but I I haven't seen a client yet that says yeah I have a private website I don't want anybody to see it. anybody in the public that I don't know to see it so uh, you want to leave it here on the default setting so I'll just save those changes uh, something else that is critical one of the most critical pieces of your website is right here it's permalinks permalinks are uh, uh, this uh, permalinks are uh, any pretty much any page on your website to include media uploads documents the uh, program will automatically assign a name to these now there is a CO piece that is so huge listen to me if you upload documents to your website there is something that you absolutely have to do imagine imagine if you will that you uploaded a PDF document about your business and you did some search engine optimization or you optimized it and uploaded it in such a way that it could actually turn into a high-ranked web page let me show you something this is a PDF document 80,000 searches a month on this particular uh, document look at this imagine if you will this imagine if you will this now we are of the opinion by going down through this document looking at the metadata and other thing that these people just called it WordPress manual uh, because that's a actually what it is they are ranked number seven or eight uh, and this document gets a lot of traffic believe me uh, I, I kinda know how to find out about these things but uh, they this was almost a total accident judging on their metadata judging uh, judging on their metadata judging on the content but this they 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 placed it here uh, almost by accident and they didn't do they didn't do 70 percent of the CO necessary imagine if they screwed up and got to number nine and are still getting searches with no product offer they wouldn't be here <laughs> uh, 
or they they wouldn't be number one through three. It's hard to take down WordPress. <laughs> it's hard to take down WordPress. That org. That's just how it is. But however, they could be here. Imagine in your keyword market, whatever that is. Imagine on how to optimize a document and such. Now WordPress.com, you can put the smack down on them. Anybody can put smack down on them, or even right here. So, uh, but however, uh, what? Imagine you're uh, you uploaded a document, inserted. Uh, some CO'd optimized hyperlinks uh, made it uh, inserted back office metadata the right way and your work just a single document you uploaded was a huge traffic funnel to your website and we teach that in our WordPress CO series however uh, we just we really think you need to take advantage of that nevertheless uh, what you want to do you have to choose uh, what which one of these uh, uh, you want you that is totally up to you the only bit of advice we're going to give you is don't use this. That is that's as far as we can go. This is a total. This is you don't want to do this, and and we'll leave it at that. Uh, I wouldn't worry about category bases or anything. So uh, we save that, and uh, we already adjusted the tiny MCE editor WordPress super cache, which is almost in the set, also in the settings. We did uh, alcoholic. So what we're saying or share harlot? I said alcoholic. Oh man. Uh, so uh, we did plugins. Uh, okay, yeah, we'll go here. We didn't want to go here, but we'll go here. Uh, basically, uh, and because you are new, uh, what we will say is this: is you can add as many users that can administratively uh, log into your website as possible. If you got people that share, you know, you share the uh, in a, within a company, you share content or content creation or website management with you can do this if you out if you want to outsource your web management but you still want access to the back office of your website you can assign uh, your vendor who's making your website you if you are doing that and watching this video tutorial that's kind of asinine but you can assign other people to log into your website uh, right here and there's some confirmation link and all of these other things right here uh, and then you can actually uh, limit their access here so we don't want you to be worried about that right now since you're learning uh, to use a WordPress website uh, we're pumped up we're hyped we're excited because the next uh, several modules will deal with the core of setting up your WordPress website which is posts and pages and not only that uh, we are actually going to insert content and show you all the things you need to know to do a basic setup of posts and pages and then folks your website will start to take shape and that ends your video tutorial on the settings part in WordPress setup